Hi, this is Andrew at DPS, and once again today I'll be answering one of your questions about remote monitoring and control technology. Uh, today's question is, Andrew, I'm trying to learn about SCADA. What exactly is SCADA programming? Well, that is a term that can mean a couple different things, but probably the most common definition is going to be some kind of setup of either your HDMI master station at the center of what your operation and the RTUs or PLCs that you've got out at various locations that are monitoring different values. So setting those things up and understanding when they're going to notify you. How are they going to notify you? Are they going to send you some kind of message? Are they going to pop something up on a screen? You're setting all these things up in your equipment's interface. Uh, how about what's the HMI screen going to look like? Is it going to be a picture of your process flow? If you're more of a spread out network, is it going to be a map showing different kinds of sites? What's that all going to look like? That really encompasses part of SCADA programming. And also, SCADA programming implies that you're going to be able to program in automatic responses. So if a certain thing happens, the SCADA system should make an adjustment automatically and then probably also notify you. So setting up all aspects of your SCADA system, how is it going to work, what's the display going to look like, what are the interchange points between where the machine is doing things and where a human being is going to make a decision, all of that is part of SCADA programming. For more information about SCADA, you can call DPS at 1-800-693-0351 or send an email to sales at dpstele.com. If you have a question you'd like Andrew to answer on the air, you can send it to questions at dpstele.com.